Hello, this week we're talking about what happens if your trust is not properly funded when you pass away. This is episode 41 of Estate Planning Weekly, and I am your host, Don Rolfe, the owner and founder of Northwest Legal Planning, an estate planning and probate law firm located in West Lynn, Oregon. What happens if your trust isn't properly funded at the time that you pass away? So this last week, I got a telephone call from a gentleman whose father had passed away. He had a revocable living trust in place, and they were having some issues getting access to his dad's assets, the bank accounts and brokerage accounts and all of those sorts of things because they weren't ever funded into the trust. And he wanted to know how do we get those assets into the trust? Unfortunately for this individual and this family, it's not going to be able to happen. And that's because they didn't have a complete comprehensive estate plan. And I'm going to get into that uh, and tell you exactly what that means in just a second. If you have any questions about this or any other estate planning topic, do feel free to reach out to me by going to myestateplanmeeting.com and I can answer those questions and explain to you your estate planning options. So for this particular family, I don't know if, they, if the, the dad had put, hired an attorney to put together his estate plan, put together his trust. I haven't actually seen the documents. But what was missing from the estate plan portfolio or binder or folder that they had was there was no will included and they're, they're looking for that now. They haven't been able to discover it. So a comprehensive trust-based estate plan will include what is called a pour over will. And that's kind of a backstop and a second chance to get that trust funded after you have passed away. It's not something that we want to rely upon, but it's something that we use just in case an asset slips through. In this case, I think all of the assets slipped through. And uh, if he had had that pour over will, the pour over will basically says, I leave everything to my trust. So a probate would be necessary, but it would be opened. It would be a single beneficiary probate. Uh, all of the estate's debts and so forth would be paid through the probate, and then the remainder would be transferred to the trust, and then from the trust it would be divvied out as the trust sets forth. However, in this case, because that will doesn't exist, and because assets weren't properly funded into the trust, this gentleman will es essentially be deemed to have passed away intestate, or without a will, without an estate plan. So his assets are going to pass based upon the Oregon's intestacy statutes, which basically says it goes to spouse, then children, and so on and so forth, uh, until it's all dispersed. They go down, down the line. Uh, in this case, the son will most likely inherit everything, but he will inherit everything outside of a trust. Uh, it'll, be given to, it'll be inherited outright, so there will be no asset protection afforded to him. And it's, it's really unfortunate that obviously there was some work done. It just wasn't completely done. That pour over will wasn't, wasn't drafted, or if it was, it's been lost in the wind. There is not an attorney's name on the trust. So unless they can find that pour over will, and hopefully they can, uh, it's going to be some work that was done for naught. Um, and unfortunately this does happen and, and oftentimes this happens when individuals take it upon themselves to put together their own estate plan or they work with somebody who's unfamiliar with putting together the proper, uh, the proper, all of the proper documents that are necessary for uh, a functioning trust-based estate plan. Again, if you have any questions about this or any other estate planning topic, do uh, feel free to reach out to me. You can schedule a 30-minute complimentary estate planning strategy session with me, and we can do that either on the phone or in person. If you're married and a couple, I do, uh, I do wanna meet with both of you, so make sure that when you're scheduling that time that your spouse is available to come in or be on the phone with us. Again, this week uh, we're talking about, I was, I've talked about what happens when your trust doesn't get properly funded. Now, in this case, as I've said, it's extreme because they did not have that pour over will or if that pour over will exists, it can't be found, it may be lost. But if you do comprehensive estate planning, even if you don't fund your trust, which I'm not recommending that you go down that road, you wanna have that properly funded. But if something gets missed, you will or you should have that pour over will that will leave everything back into your trust so it can be transferred there and then divvied out to your beneficiaries. 
Again, I'm Don Rolf. If you like this content, please leave a comment, hit the like button. Uh, if you know someone who might find this content helpful, please do share it with them. I would really appreciate that. I want to get this information out to as many people as possible so that they can, uh, they can go into estate planning with their eyes wide open. Until next time, take care. Goodbye.